Okay, day 646 off the grid. The great AC breaker on DC debate has been raging on. So I thought it was about time I actually did this test. I've been thinking about this test for a long time to see what actually happens if an AC breaker attempts to commutate the full current of this car battery here. Yeah, that's right, this car battery. Here's the rig. We've got a 16 amp Siemens AC breaker. It's rated to 415 volts in fact, so you could use it as part of a three phase circuit, although I don't know why you'd want to have an individual breaker on a three phase. You'll notice it's got high Z written on the back. That's because when I use these on low voltage circuits, I'm quite fussy about the contact resistance. So any that have got a bit more or that might drop, say, I don't know, 100 millivolts or something across them when they're on, on say a 12 volt circuit, I don't like to use them for that, so I mark them high Z. But there's nothing wrong with this breaker. You could quite happily put it on a mains distribution board and it would work perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it at all. So we're going to perform the test now. So as you can see, there's no trickery here. This is just some kind of um, suppressor thing for um, transients when you're using it to jumpstart a car. So you see these are pretty thick leads. So I'm going to turn the breaker on. Lay it down. Oh, how shall I do this? Um, well, okay, I'll turn it on, lay it down. Put the phone there so we can watch it. Got the positive clip in my hand. Can't see the phone very well, but let's go. Oh look, the breaker just tripped and there's no big arc or smoke or flames directly across a car battery, okay? And this isn't the first time I've done this with this breaker. I've actually done this about two or three times before I even started filming. Now I'm not saying I recommend AC breakers on DC circuits, I'm just showing you what happens when you do. And this is a pretty serious fault current we got here from a battery like this. Let's try it again. Oh, and another flawless, perfect trip. See, this proves one thing that's quite interesting, is that under a heavy fault current, even on DC, these AC breakers will trip instantly. Okay. They'll also trip perfectly well on, you know, overloads, you know, you know, sort of, I don't know, if this had about 22 or 23 amps across it for a few minutes, it would eventually blow, and they, so they work, they work just the same on low voltage DC as they do on the mains. But however, if this had been a 200 volt battery, we wouldn't have got the same result. We would have got the smokes, the sparks, the arc, the meltdown, and the fire. So if you ever do use one of these on DC, never use it on voltages above 32 volts. In fact, it's best to stick to 12 or 24. It's raining now, but I've proved my point as much to myself as anyone else because, you know, it's all about safety, isn't it? So there we go. There's day 646 off the grid.